In this episode, we'll be tearing into this bad boy. It's a transfer case of a 2005 Hyundai Santa Fe. So one of the big issues with these transfer cases, this is the input shaft. This input shaft seal uh, tends to leak and then you get differential fluid in between the transmission because the transmission will be bolted up right here and the transfer case and you get a little leak underneath. Hyundai, there's a TSB or a service bulletin. Uh, Hyundai says that you pull this off and it's not an easy job. It's uh, a big job. The exhaust manifolds have to come off. Uh, some other things have to come out in order to get this out. So it's a big job. Replace this seal, put it back in. If it doesn't fix it, then you need a new transfer case. Kind of interesting. So that's what happened on this vehicle. It got a new transfer case or a better used transfer case. These things are right around four grand uh, new from Hyundai. Uh, so a little pricey. So a good used one from the junkyard is what got put in it. But anyway, Let's pull this thing apart. I'm gonna start with this front uh, shaft here. It's 27 millimeter. And these are, aren't usually pressed on too hard. They're just, they just slip on, slip off. So then you can see the bearing and stuff inside. Doesn't look bad. So now, we got two different approaches. I'll, I think I'll take uh, this front off. We'll, let's keep here. There's some 12 millimeter bolts we can pull off. We'll knock that around and see if it'll separate. I'll walk it off. All right, sweet. Look at that gear. And then it looks like we have a, I don't know if this is like a gasket plate or a shimming plate. Uh, shimming, cause here's a gasket. It has just a little uh, O-ring there. So it just must just be some kind of shim plate. Sweet. Give you a peek inside. Oh, can you see it? All right, so now let's pull let's pull this case off. And they look like 12 millimeters as well. So this here would be the output shaft. So the passenger side axle would slip on here. So the output shaft for the, the passenger side. And then this would be for the um, drive line to go to the rear differential. It's held on with little dowels. There we go. Separated. Oh. So you got this through shaft, so that, I don't know if you can see that spinning, and I'm spinning this in. So it's just one long uh, through shaft there. Looks like you have some little carriers. That's pretty cool, okay. And then the meat of everything is in here. And I can pull everything out. Check it out. So this, well maybe this one goes first. Maybe this bottom one, where it comes out together. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So it all kind of came out together. So this is the, a big gear, has a bearing in it. So you could probably rebuild one of these pretty easily. 
I'm not sure Ah, uh, let me see real quick. Because, so this is the output shaft seal for the uh, passenger side. I think this right here is another seal. And that's the reason why, um, let me show you this here. This is the input shaft seal. And that, if you replace that and it doesn't fix it, then you need a whole case. Well, why do you need a whole case or a whole transfer case? Well, look, there's an internal seal here. If that's bad, it's possible that the fluid can escape through, you see how it's, it's multi-layered um, through the layering. I'm wondering if that is the issue. It's just a hypothesis. I don't know. I didn't. I'm not the engineer. Uh, I can't find any like technical data on this transfer case, but it does make me wonder because right here, this is what seals to that input shaft, the outside here. But fluid can still leak out of the inside. Well, why? Well, right here is the seal for that inside. I would be curious if I can get a hold of Hyundai, get a replacement seal for the inside here, and that would solve this transfer case's uh, leak issue. Because I don't see anywhere else where it could leak. And this is a, a slip. Let me see if I can show you. Maybe not, but. No, but this, this slip, it's called a slip. No, a hollow shaft, that's what it's called. Not a slip, but a hollow shaft. Interesting, well, so there's not a whole lot to these. So that was kind of a, just a quick, uh, simple tear down of what's inside a transfer case. A couple of bearings, a couple of gears, a couple of seals. Well, there you go, that's what's inside a 2005 Hyundai Santa Fe transfer case. Really not a whole lot to them, just a few gears, uh, some bearings, and some seals. Now it's interesting that the the TSB or the service bulletin says that if you can't fix that input shaft seal leak uh, to get a new transfer case. But uh, what I take away from this is that there are internal seals that can be replaced. So before you condemn your transfer case completely because of that input shaft seal, pull it apart. Try to get that inner seal replaced and see if that uh, solves your problem. Maybe it can save you, um, you know, a few hundred bucks. Well, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one.